Hi, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, and they're out of Milton, Delaware, and this is their Citrus Squall. So they're calling this one a, a double a golden ale, and then it also says it's an ale with a grapefruit juice and a blue agave a nectar, and then it also mentions that this is brewed with a lime peel. It comes in at 8% alcohol by volume, 10 IBUs at the time of review. This can is just over two months old. So we have one of the newest releases from Dogfish Head and it's a somewhat unique, different beer like they're known to do. And yeah, a double gold nail. And uh, on the side here it says, our, our uh, perfect storm infusing a double gold nail with a grapefruit juice, lime peel, and blue agave nectar. So it's an 8% beer that I feel like if I just knew everything that was in here, I would be like, that should be like 5%. So I don't know if this is going to be like a super refreshing, crushable beer at 8%, which is scary, or it's going to be a little bit more like complex and in-depth than that. I don't know, but I'm here for it. So let's give it a pour into the glass. And this is just over two months old, but it does give a best by date of August of 2023. So it seems like it gives about six months for this beer. So if you watch this review and it sounds interesting to you and you want to pick it up, um, according to Dogfish Head, these still should be good for another like three and a half months or so. Anyway, put that over there. Yeah, so that has a beautiful yellow orange color, more to the yellow side. Um, it's very, it, it's a golden now. Hey, how about that? It has a golden kind of vibe to it. It's very bright. Um, you can see my shadow of my hand through, but I can't make it out specifically, so it's hazy to some degree. Had about a finger of a uh, bright white colored head that has now dissipated to a thin film, hold it up to the light. Lots of carbonation. You can see this has the etching at the bottom to promote the carbonation, and it's definitely doing so. But yeah, looks like a double gold now, I guess. Let's get a nose. What? What the fuck am I smelling? That smells wild. This smells like a cocktail with tequila. Tequila, blue agave nectar. But the first thing that hit my nose was like just a lot of citrus, grapefruit, and lime. But then I got like, I would assume it's the blue agave, but it, it gave me like a, a craft, like cocktail kind of vibe to it. Like a, like a citrus infused craft cocktail. Yeah, it's, it's wild. It smells like super refreshing, like, like if this was a craft cocktail. But it just, it's, it smells sweet. It smells like it's going to be tart. Um, and it just has that citrus vibe. And it's more to the lime than grapefruit for me. There's a, like an underlying like, like bready kind of malt thing going on. Maybe crackery. Very carbonated though. Like I said, the, the carbonation bubbles are streaming. I can, I don't know if you can hear the carbonation. But it's definitely going nuts. Yeah, I'm not getting much out of this. I'm definitely getting the grapefruit, getting the lime, getting the blue agave nectar. Kind of has almost like a tequila kind of nose to it. Um, very, you know, like not over the top, but like it definitely smells like you had a, um, like a citrus cocktail with, with tequila. That's kind of what this smells like. It smells fucking crazy. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. This is a very, very interesting beer. I can't say I've ever tasted anything like this. And considering I have reviewed around 1,700 beers on the channel, and I've lost track of how many like unique beers I, I've drank since I started drinking craft beer, it's got to be, I don't know, seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 at this point. Like, unique cha check-ins on a tap, I'm close to 5,000, and I just started using that, I think, in like 2013, and I was drinking three or four years before that. So all I know is... This is, it's hard to, to, to make something unique for me personally, uh, as much as different beers, I've tried unique beers, and this is different. And that's what Dogfish Head does. They always bring something different to the table. The body on this one, medium, touch over medium. It's thinner than I anticipated for 8%, but I think that works in its favor. Because the flavors I'm getting here and what this beer is, I do want it a little bit lighter and more crushable. And I think that works that it is like around medium body. The mouthfeel. This is moderate, maybe a touch over, moderately carbonated. It's, a lot, it's effervescent. It's not over the top, but it's definitely more spritzy and more carbonated than you typically would get with something like this. Very crisp. The flavors, I don't know where to begin. It's not like overly complex, but what I'm getting is hard to describe. I guess the front half of the palate is like a mixture of grapefruit and lime. 
it's more lime to me than grapefruit. And it has like a juicy, again, it, this is very akin to a cocktail or a craft cocktail that has citrus, like real citrus fruit in it. That's why I get it from the palate. Underneath that, there's like this bready, crackery, malt sensation, dives underneath the palate, omnipresent, never steps in the way, definitely along for the ride the entire way through though. Halfway through the palate though, I think I get the blue agave nectar. And as it finishes, it has like a warming feel on the palate, but also just in, like into my chest and in my stomach. And it, and it gives me like a slight tequila or like spirit kind of feel. I don't know if that's the intention here, but definitely, definitely does. There's almost no bitterness here. This is almost full on dry. There's a very big dry, um, almost like pithy kind of citrus uh, feel on the back of the palate, like the dryness from like a pith more so than anything. The, the, the nose is just wild. Like I said, it kind of it kind of has like that cocktail kind of nose. The taste not as much, but kind of in that realm. This is a fun beer. Um, beer should be not only delicious but fun. I try, like I said, I you know I've, I've had so many beers, and to get something like this that just is so different and unique to my palate nowadays, it's very rare to happen, or for it to happen. And the fact that it's happening right now, it makes me happy. I don't love this beer, but I could see myself buying like a six pack of this and just when I want something different and kind of let's say just outside the box but something that kind of fits in with spring and summer I think this would if I could if I could find this probably on sale I'd buy a six pack of it easily um I didn't pay an exorbitant amount of money or anything for this can but it was a little bit pricier for a dogfish head beer but anyway wh where do I stand on this I think it's pretty good I think it's fun. I think it's good. I like that they they went with a double golden ale base and that they're using grapefruit juice and, and lime peel and blue agave nectar. And I think they got something here that can rival a craft cocktail. I think that's kind of where this is going. And I think they've done a pretty good job with this. So Citrus Squall from Dogfish Head. I have absolutely no issues whatsoever giving this a straight four out of five. That's where this one lands for me. It's uh, pretty damn good, and I'm going to drink the rest of that, and I'm probably going to be confused with every sip like I was in this review where I'm like, oh, what am I tasting on? It's just it's kind of a, a unique one. So I'll tell you what, if I did this blind, I don't even know what I'd say about this one. Like, I, I, I couldn't even tell you what I would guess this beer to be. I would never say double gold now, but it's such a fun beer. So anyway, price point availability. Now, I did pick this up in a mix six location at my local Wegmans grocery store. They're $12.99 a six pack, so I paid just over two bucks for that can. I did see them at one of my local uh, beer stores, and I think this was like 16 or 17 bucks a six pack. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody out there, but in my area, it was like 16 bucks, 17 bucks a six pack. For something that's 8% with those three ingredients, you know, paying under three bucks a can, I think is a pretty fucking good deal. Um, like that's why I said, I think if, if this was on sale, if I could get this for 12 to $14, I would definitely buy a six pack of this and just throw it in the fridge for when I want something kind of different. Um, but I don't think it's a bad price to pay at normal, uh, pricing, but you know, it depends on how much you'd want to try this one. And availability is Dogfish Head. I'd assume you will see this wherever Dogfish Head gets distro. Uh, so if you see a lot of their stuff and most of their seasonals, you should see this one. This, I'm pretty sure this was their, um, you know, their, their late winter, early spring seasonal. And again, they give a Best Buy date of August of 2023. So if you see this one on the shelf, don't be afraid to grab it because it's definitely uh, still within date according to the brewery. So yeah, now the 8%, uh, the 8% starting to feel a little bit more, but What's wild is that I don't get any kind of like a shirsty on the palate, but I'm starting to feel it. Like I definitely can feel the alcohol flowing through me. So anyway, if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. It's a fun, unique, different beer. That's what Dogfish Head does, the off-centered ales and the whole nine. They're, you know, they're shtick. Um, but they do. They, they've, they've done it for a long time. And that's why you see on my channel, I drink Dogfish Head stuff uh, at least once every couple months because I enjoy trying stuff from them, um, even if they don't end up nailing uh, the beer for me personally, I still always have fun trying it. And this was one, a fun one to try and it's pretty good. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.